I'm Rob Robillard. Welcome to my blog at Concord Carpenter Comments. Today's tool review, we're looking at a combination fluting jig and edge guide. It's from Eagle America at eagleamerica.com. Uh, fluting jig allows you to basically route straight flutes or dados in a, in a board of any length quickly and easily. It's a fast, repetitive way to produce uh, very consistent results every time. You might see something like this in door trim, um, maybe a mantle or a built-in bookcase, something like that. The jig itself came out of the box. Uh, it's, it's, it was three pieces. Had to put it together. One thing I need to mention is uh, you need to be able to mount this to your router and you have to drill the holes and countersink them yourself. They don't provide that for you. So that's something you have to set up. The directions were okay, but it's a pretty straightforward jig to figure out. The jig has these two guide edges on the on the side, these two guides and these two knob sets that tighten and, and slide in and out. It allows the jig and the router to basically slide up and down the board. The guide edges hug the side of the board and, and basically ride the edges. This jig will allow you to route uh, dados in a board from 1 inch to almost 12 inches wide and you can use it to do curved or arch trim as well. You have to turn the edge guides around where they have these ball bearing guides and the ball bearings will follow the curve of the trim. Very nice jig, very easy to use. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I've basically laid out and marked uh, spaced lines to evenly space my flutes on my board. I've done that, I've set the router up and the guide up so that my router bit and the line, there's a reference line on my jig, line up right with my pencil line. So let's show you how it, how it how it works. Here we go. It's that easy. Now, I want to move it over and do one more. How do we do that? We just loosen these knobs, we slide the router over, I line my bit and my reference line up, slide these edge guides back, tighten the adjustment knobs. You want to make sure that it's not sloppy, you want to make sure it's nice and snug. Let's tighten that a little bit better. You want to make sure that it slides. It's that simple. Let's show you again how that works. That's it. It's that simple. A little bit about this jig. It's a um, clear polycarbonate, very, uh, very durable impact resistant plastic. It's about 3 8 inches thick. Uh, very easy to use. Pretty practical. I could see myself using this when I do built-in bookcases and maybe some mantles. I recommend it. It's reasonably priced. It's, it's under $60. And um, I think you have a lot of fun with it in the shop. I'm Rob Robillard and thanks for coming to my blog at Concord Carpenter Comments. We'll see you at the next tool review.